Well, hello again. So we're on to the last section of 3.0. So 3.0's deployment, and it's 23% of the Cloud Plus uh, exam. This is given a scenario, perform cloud migrations, okay? Um, and once again, we're taking this right from CompTIA's cloud objective. So given a scenario, perform cloud migrations. Just gonna copy that so I have it. And this is a small section, so hopefully it won't be that long. Um, so how are you converting? Are you taking a physical machine and converting it to a virtual machine? So P2V, or is it already virtual and you're converting it to virtual, vir v virtual to virtual, V2V. V. Um, and then there's cloud to cloud migration. So you're going back and forth. So some people like to avoid vendor lock-in. Uh, if you want to avoid vendor lock-in, that's why a lot of people go the container route. Um, but if you go the container route, uh, that way you can easily migrate. You don't have to worry about as many things because it's these nice containers. I think if it's a shipping container, you stick on a boat or on a semi truck and the people build houses out of them, right? Uh, they're very useful, these containers, but there are problems with them. Um, the biggest problem I've seen with containers is um, how to maintain the security patches on a container uh, because one of the things I see developers liking containers for is because they don't have to worry about things getting patched and it getting broken but then they're not secure and compromises happen and it's just bad so uh, I, I have a love-hate relationship with containers um, but containers is a great way to go if you're worried about con uh, vendor lock-in if you're not worried about vendor lock-in then you can go more to platform as a service or functions as a service, which is not on the exam, uh, or software as a service, and then really getting locked in. Now, software as a service is very much, I think of it like ERPs. In fact, there are ERPs that are software as a service. There's a lot of stuff that you do to use a system. And uh, as you, in fact, you'll see your business starts to change to meet the system uh, better over time. Uh, and as, if you have one of these big ERP systems, uh, PeopleSoft, Oracle, um, I'm going to go oh, SAP, uh, and then you decide to switch maybe to Workday, you'll have a lot of pain of people saying, well, that's stupid. I've always done it this way because they've been using the system. Um, I think of these migrations kind of like in the old days, we don't even have it. Where's word perfect anymore? Anyway, uh, I think of people using, uh, Microsoft office versus word perfect. Um, I use open office. So, but people loved one or the other and they hated having to use the other cause it just wasn't useful. And that's not true. It's whatever they used is the one that, that, that worked best. Um, so what works best for you is the one that you use, but switching that has a cost. Um, so it, when you do these, you have to worry about it. And then not only that, you have to, you have to work it into your system. Uh, it's, we, you have people talk about buy versus build. It, there's also buy and integrate, right? You have to integrate it. Uh, so set up the access, access control list correctly, set up the firewalls correctly, and also the integration points to your other systems, right? Okay. Storage migrations. Uh, are you going to use block, file, or object storage? Um, and what type of database you're going to use? Um, so relational, non-relational, cross-service uh, migration. So uh, Amazon has great uh, ways to convert databases and you can d convert even from local to in the cloud. So you had Oracle local, you can go to Oracle in the cloud, but you could even convert from Oracle to MySQL or Oracle to, to MS SQL um, or Postgre or yeah. So you, they, they actually can convert you from one database to an even different database uh, engine as you're converting to the cloud. Um, most databases, d database systems are very similar. They're the using them is not, there's not a huge difference, but there are differences. And so, uh, just be careful there. Um, and 
wow, I guess we are done with that section. Happy day. See you in the next video.